Let us take a look at Azure Functions on Kubernetes. Now, I don't think this is on the exam, but I just thought it was a very interesting uh, thing that Azure Functions can do. Uh, and so I just kind of wanted to run quickly through it. So you can deploy any Azure Function app to a Kubernetes cluster running on K, uh, running KEDA. If you don't know KEDA, it is Kubernetes event-driven auto-scaling uh, service and allows you to set up auto-scaling based on events from various cloud-native services and third-party services. So in this case, it could be for Azure, Azure Function apps. And so when we were looking at the core, uh, core tools, Azure Power Tools, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, they had an op uh, they had the option to deploy to uh, Kubernetes. So I'm going to assume that you'd probably be running an AKS Azure Kubernetes service. Uh, but let's just read through some of the things here. So Kubernetes-based functions provide the functions runtime in a Docker container with event-driven dri scaling through uh, Kida. Uh, Kida can scale into zero instances with no events occurring and out to n instances. So it scales to zero. It does this by exposing custom metrics for Kubernetes autoscaler, so horizontal plot autoscaler. Using function containers with Kida make it possible to replicate serverless function capabilities in Kubernetes cluster. These functions can be deployed using uh, AKS, virtual node features for serverless infrastructure. I'm really curious like how they're running and like other things there, but that's outside of the scope of this course. But you know, if you're into Kubernetes, and I do have a Kubernetes course, um, you know, it's just interesting to see that that is a functionality there. And so I just wanted to call that out for our Kubernetes fans, okay? 